The breathtaking story of Dune comes to its grand climax in Sandworms of Dune. Brian Herbert, the son of the original Dune creator, and his collaborator, Kevin J. Anderson, join us. Welcome, Brian. Welcome, Kevin. We're glad to be here. Give us some background on the Dune series and what happened in Hunters of Dune. Well, my father, Frank Herbert, had an idea in the 1950s for this incredible uh, science fiction series, and it was published to very little notice in 1965, but it's become a classic that will be read for, for hundreds of years. And Frank Herbert wrote six Dune novels, and uh, his series kind of ended on a cliffhanger uh, when he passed away. And Brian and I have picked up the candle and written some other Dune novels, and now uh, Hunters of Dune and Sandworms of Dune are the chronological grand climax of this whole story, and it wraps up many of the threads that Frank Herbert left. Tell us how you came across this hidden treasure. After Dad died in 1986, we didn't know there were any notes. And uh, we found them 11 years later, uh, a couple of computer disks and a printout uh, entitled uh, Dune 2. And it's uh, written in Frank Herbert's handwriting right on the old style floppy disks. And that was just an incredible thing to find. I mean, I was stunned. I couldn't, couldn't believe it was there. I didn't know they existed. And since then, we found thousands of pages of his uh, original notes of background. So we came up with boxes of material that Frank Herbert imagined for the Dune universe that has not been incorporated into other novels. The last uh, Dune novel that he wrote was called Chapter House Dune, and it ends uh, with the story unresolved, and the characters are, are lost on this gigantic ship out into an unknown universe. And we pick up those characters and follow along their story, as well as tying together many other things that were set up in other Dune novels. So fans of the series will see everything they like, some of their favorite characters, some nasty villains, some giant sandworms, and uh, of course, the spice melange. So in this two-part series, you finally reveal the mysterious enemy only hinted at in previous books. The fans were waiting more than two decades to get the answer to this, and uh, what we find out is there is a, a group of women called the Honored Matres who are very vicious and violent and they're destroying many planets and chasing our characters. And we find out in Frank Herbert's last novel that they're actually on the run from something even worse. And now in Hunters of Dune and Sandworms of Dune, we reveal what that is. What's the significance of the title? Sandworms are practically the most famous part of the Dune universe. You have to have sandworms in a Dune novel. Well, the sandworm uh, guarding the melange, the spice sands of, of, of the planet Dune, is like the ancient dragon guarding the, the, the treasure, the cave. Um, so Dad has brought mythology forward and, and made it interesting. Um, but it's, it's ultimately about surviving in a, in, in a hostile environment and adapting and, and having balance. How do you hope this book will be received by fans of the original series? Frank Herbert established like a 25,000 year history with this whole Chronicles and Dune just seems like a universe full of possibilities and we want to keep telling the stories. Tell us about your collaboration. Well Kevin and I are taking this incredible journey across the universe and it's a huge universe of the imagination. And we both have similar visions of, of where we're going, and we've come up with similar ideas simultaneously. We love working together. We just I, I respect his imagination. He respects mine. We, we both have different strengths when we're writing. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think the books come out far stronger than anything either of us could have done individually. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Marie. Thank you very much. Devoted fans of the Dune series will finally see the threads of different storylines come together in Sandworms of Dune.